Hello, my name is Sasha and this is Chintan. Hello. We are from RF Power Group from Texas Instruments and today we are going to talk about supply for power amplifiers with MIPI RFFE interface. All new LTE platforms that will be on the market end of 2013-2014 will have digital MIPI RFFE interface to control various components in the front end. As far as power management solution for power amplifiers is concerned, we expect that there will be two different options. High-end phones will be using envelope tracking and mid-end phones will be using average power tracking or SUPA with MIPI RFFE interface due to cost, size and overall heat and power management benefits. Before I go in uh, details today on how to choose between different options of uh, SUPA and how to use these SUPA devices, I would like to remind you what SUPA is. Here on the left side, you're seeing the power amplifier with a supply connected directly to a battery. Independent of your se you're sending high level signals or low level signals or low output power, you're going to operate power amplifier from a maximum battery voltage. And as a result, a lot of energy will be wasted. You will generate a lot of heat on your PCB. Using super device, this output voltage or actually supply voltage for a power amplif amplifier will be dynamically adjusted. So for high power, uh, power levels, you will have high VCC voltage and for lower output powers, this voltage will be brought, uh, brought down. So as a result, we will have this energy or, or power saving you will save a heat on your PCB, you can make thinner phones, and you can use your battery longer. There are different options of these super devices, and uh, today we hope to actually explain what is a difference between several options like Buck or Buck Boost, supporting maybe 3G, 4G, or 2G. And this slide here is showing several options one solution will not fit all. On x-axis, we do have 2G or 3G, 4G mode support. What's the main difference between those two is really current handling. 2G, you need very high currents, like 2.5 or even 3 amps. As a result, you need larger devices on your die, so your die is bigger, and total solution size is bigger because your inductor also needs to stand larger current. This is presented by a rectangular with different colors. So different colors are presenting different solution sizes. Here on the right hand side you see battery voltage. You can support low battery voltages and, or keep high battery voltages. Low battery voltages are especially important uh, for longer usage time because your battery will sag the longer you use your phone. If you want to keep your PA operational, if you want high output patterns, uh, high output powers, this voltage will be higher than the battery voltage, so you need some sort of boost. As a result, your die will be larger, also you need a different or larger inductor with respect to buck only solution. So this is actually represented with a green rectangular. So your solution will be larger than buck only. If you also decide to support 2G with this buck boost device, obviously, then you will uh, have the largest solution size and uh, the largest benefits because you can have longer usage time, you can operate your, devi uh, your device with a lower battery voltage, and you will uh, have maximum power or heat savings in 2G, 3G, and 4G. Now, when you know how to choose between different options of these super devices with MIPI RFFE interface, I would also uh, like just to uh, briefly show what MIPI RFFE interface is. That's a bi-directional high-speed serial protocol which is really dedicated to these front ends of mobile devices for timing, allocation purposes. You can easily control all your components in the front end. And Chintan uh, I hope that you can also show us today how to use super devices 
with an operation, uh, uh, how to operate actually those devices with this MIPRFE interface. Thanks, Sasha. That's a great, great introduction to the super devices with MIPRFE. Uh, let me go over the bench setup initially to show what kind of equipment we have here. We have a power supply and a couple of multimeters here. On the bench here, we have a LM3263 EVM, which is a DC to DC converter, a super device for 2G, 3G, 4G support. Also, we have a LM8335 EVM, which, is, which we are using for driving the RFFE bus on a 63 EVM, which is connected via the PC to the, with the USB interface. Controlling the device is pretty simple. We can go to the user interface, which is provided with the LM3263 kit. And I'm here I'm going to show you how to change the output voltage from 0.7 volts to 1.5 volts. On the screen here, you can see the output voltage change from 0.7 volts to 1.5 volts once the clock and data were sent through the RFFE. What does it mean? to uh, send these data. So we have captured the, the waveforms on the logic analyzers. And here you can see there is a slave ID, uh, address, and data. The slave ID identifies the DC to DC converter. The address is the address we are writing to for changing the output voltage. And data is the value for that specific register. Next, I'm going to show you how to change mode of operation. So I'm going to change it back to 0.7 volts here. And we are currently in 2G mode. And now we're going to transition from 2G to 3G, 4G mode. So here on the screen, we can see two different mode of operation. One is the pulse width modulation and one is the pulse frequency modulation. Why are we using two different modes of operation? Great question. We use different mode of operation to maintain high efficiency across different load currents and as well as different mode of operation such as 2G, 3G, 4G. So independent actually in which mode you're going to use this device, you will maintain highest efficiency. Yes, that's right. Well, that sounds uh, pretty good. It looks from this uh, example that it's pretty straightforward to operate super devices using VPRF interface. Is that correct? Yes, it's all about changing either you're in 2G mode, 3G mode, or setting the output voltages. So it's all about writing one or two registers. So we can see today how to choose among different options, buck or buck boost, supporting 3G, 4G, or 2G modes of operation, and also how to operate super device with MIPR interface. For more information, please go to the following web pages. Thank you.